Kaylin, if you do not get the blue bill, you are wasting your time. This is not about a budget. This is about what's right. The two dreaded aisles that I'm sure Christine does not want me to go down. <gasps> Kaylin, oh no. I cannot believe I have and cheese every day for a year. I have one skill and that it is I can feed a family on not very much money no matter where I live. And I have gotten a little bit of pushback on that, but I've also stated that if I went grocery shopping with someone, I could help them cut their grocery budget. Today I have a submission from an amazing girl who videoed herself and her grocery shopping, sent it to me so we can do an actual reaction today. So my name is Caitlin, I live in Tempe, Arizona, I have a family of two. I have been married to my husband, Mike, for a little over a year. Hopefully get some feedback from Christine and also to ask her some questions because yeah, sometimes I just don't know what I'm doing. She sent me her budget. She showed me their financial goals and grocery shopping. She told me that when they try and cut their grocery bill, their eating out goes up. And when they <laughs> and when they cut their eating out, their grocery bill goes up, which actually makes a lot of sense. So they're really working on cutting the eating out and they're trying to spend $225 a month on food for two people in Tempe, Arizona. I am so thrilled that Caitlin wants to ask me specific questions because sometimes I'm not sure what you guys know or don't know or, or if I'm not being clear about something. So I'm, I'm really thrilled to get going. She's gonna go through and show me what she already has because she's taking inventory before she makes her meal plan and goes shopping, which is brilliant. I highly recommend doing that. So let's check it out. Um, before I start, I have a couple of questions for Christine. In our grocery budget, it is essentially, it's not just food, it's also like toiletries. Like today I'm gonna be getting some hair stuff. I'm gonna be getting some soap that we need. When you make your grocery budget, does that include all groceries or is that just food? I personally separate everything. So if you were gonna buy hair products or whatever in this grocery shopping trip, that would not go under food. That would go under personal or hygiene or household perhaps. When you separate them out, you get a much clearer picture of what you spend on things. So I think what you'll notice is your grocery bill is actually quite a bit lower. I always consistently for lunch, always do ham and cheese sandwiches. And that worked great. My husband and I are both the kind of people that can eat the same thing over and over again. But it's been, I mean, we've been married for a little over a year. I'm kind of sick of it. So, but with lunch, we really need something quick and easy and I just don't really know what to do besides sandwiches. So if you have suggestions, please help. Ham and cheese every single day for a year. Holy props. Oh my gosh. I, can, I cannot believe I have ham and cheese every day for a year. Honestly, I'm a big fan of sandwiches, but you can switch it up. You could switch it up a little and do different sandwiches. I love cold pasta salads are really nice. Pre-prepping salads with a lot of protein, like a lot of chicken, a lot of cheese, hard boiled eggs. Those are really filling and really delicious. I also like to do, you could call it pickety bits. You could call it homemade Lunchables, adult Lunchables, charcuterie boards. Another thing that my husband and I did a ton, this is highly dependent on if you have a microwave available, is I would make a full meal, like a full dinner, okay, for a family of six, because a lot of recipe books, it's like a family of four to six, there were only two of us. And we always had leftovers for lunch. I made a pan of lasagna. We ate lasagna for lunch for three days. The way I go about meal planning is I usually will look at what we have. Um, a lot of this too, keep in mind, is roommate stuff. So the stuff that's in here that's ours is rice. I always keep rice on hand, so I think it's almost time to get some more. Just realized we had beans. I forgot we had beans, so not quite sure what to do with that. And then that oatmeal way in the back is ours. So a lot of the things in this pantry, when I'm first looking at it, I'm like, whoa, look at those granola bars. Fancy. Dave and I never, ever had granola bars as newlyweds, ever. But uh, these are the roommates, so these aren't even hers. <laughs> this is like rice and beans and an oatmeal. I have no complaints about any of that. As you can see, we have a couple of boxes of mac and cheese and some pasta. We always keep mac and cheese in the house. There's so many times where we are just exhausted and 
for whatever reason if we didn't have time to meal prep or to cook. The great value brand at Walmart is like a dollar. I think emergency mac and cheese is awesome. You could also do emergency ramen or canned soup. For those nights where you're like so exhausted that you just wanna call up the Taco Bell, you just wanna order the DoorDash, but you know it's gonna blow the budget. Honestly, having something that's like easy like this at home, I have no problem with that at all. The great value brand of mac and cheese is a dollar a box? Stop it. My personal great value mac and cheese is 58 cents a box. And doing that versus going Literally Raising Cane's is right next door to us. And when we go to Cane's, it's usually about $22. Can I just say I love Raising Cane's, the sauce. S so delicious. Some celery that I can use for like ants on a log if I need a snack. Stop, you do not eat ants on a log as a snack. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> I don't think I've had that since I was seven. How many people enjoy ants on a log as adults? Give me one of these in the comments. I need to know right now. That is not something I would be happy eating as a snack. Definitely need to get eggs. Definitely running low on milk. We always use milk. So we have spaghetti and we have meatballs and we have a little bit of garlic bread. So I'm thinking if I just get some sauce, that'll be easy. I always keep a little bit of broccoli on hand too to eat with our spaghetti. So maybe I should get a little bit more of that too. Yeah, for breakfast, what I usually do is I have these great value hash browns that have onions and bell peppers in them and I'll cook that up with some eggs and maybe throw on some cheese and that's super easy. The potatoes O'Brien, the frozen potatoes O'Brien with eggs, brilliant. It's satisfying, it's delicious. A great, great option to pick up for really easy breakfast prep, especially if you like meal prep it in meal prep containers and stick it in the fridge. So when it's time to cook them, the potatoes are thawed and not frozen. It comes together even faster. For meal planning, this recipe is my favorite. It's from the Skinny Taste Cookbook that my best friend gave me. Um, I'm thinking of, yeah, doing these fajitas and then I can buy some extra chicken that I can marinate and then freeze. Keep a list on my phone for what I'm gonna do. So as you can see in this little section, I have the food we're gonna do, fajitas with extra chicken. I don't know if you guys have tried the viral TikTok salmon bowl, but I'm really obsessed with it right now. Viral TikTok salmon bowl? I don't know what this is. If you know what this is, tell me down below. Have you made this? Is it delicious? What is this? Salmon rice, soy sauce, mayo, sriracha, avocado, kimchi, seaweed. Looks delicious as far as I'm concerned, but I will tell you salmon is not a budget friendly food. I buy like iced coffee. It would be more cost effective to make it. Sometimes I feel too lazy to do that. And then I'm tempted to go to like Starbucks or something. So what we do is we just buy like the iced coffee because it's $5 and we can have it multiple times throughout the week rather than spending $5 on just one, <laughs> one frappuccino at Starbucks. I'm no expert in iced coffee. I don't like coffee. I don't like the smell of it. I don't know how to make iced coffee. However, I do know that Graham Stephan has a 20 cent iced coffee video on his channel. So you could go check that out. And I do know some people make a whole batch of iced coffee like on a Sunday and then they drink it all week. And if it really is 20 cents a glass by making it yourself, that's a dollar a person for the week instead of $5 for probably just a couple days. So I'm saying pennies on the dollar to have your iced coffee treat. And then I have snacks for my husband. It's usually Arnold Palmer's and then Dodd's pretzels in the rotation. <laughs> He's a really snacky guy. I don't know what we think about that. He does not eat breakfast. Weigh in on this, Christine. We're putting my husband under fire. Oh, if, come on, wait, there we go. if this man had breakfast, you know, a little more protein in his diet, I think he'd be a little more satiated and will not need as many snacks. We'll see what Christine thinks about that. So he doesn't eat breakfast, which I can relate to because my daughter also doesn't really like breakfast. She's not hungry first thing in the morning. She's hungrier later, like 10 or 10.30. So I try and do like a high protein, high fat. So we're big on like protein shakes, cheese, eggs. The snack that he likes are Dots pretzels, which uh, I have no problem with pretzels. But when it comes to being satiated, it's all carbs. So you won't be satiated. You need fiber, protein, and fat to really feel good with your snacks. I have no idea what Arnold Palmer's are. So maybe we'll figure that out later. We are in Walmart and y'all, I do not know how Christine can film herself in the grocery store without getting super self-conscious. You know, I've been filming myself for seven years now. So you just, 
kind of get used to it. And also it's 2023. Who doesn't film themselves these days? Like, I feel like people giving you the side eye, they just don't know about what's going on. The price per ounce. And so lately I've been doing Irish Spring for my husband and I for soap. I love that she's looking at the price per unit. Brilliant. Seems like she doesn't really care what brand it is. Really looking for value here. The cheapest one I'm looking at for the bottle is $5 and the cheapest per ounce is the bigger bottle and it's $7 for this really large uh, body wash. I just did a video at Dollar Tree where they had Arm & Hammer body wash for $1.25 full sizes. And it was probably the same size as the smaller one that's right here. And especially for someone like her who doesn't care about brand, the Arm & Hammer body wash from Dollar Tree will work just fine and you will save a ton. So if you wanted to spend $5, get three bottles three bottles of the body wash, then you don't have to go back as often, just running into Dollar Tree for some personal care items. Something I wanna work on is learning to shop at more stores. I have a fries right across the street from me. I just don't know how to like keep track of all the sales, essentially. She has a fries across the street and she's not going to fries. <gasps> Kaylin, oh no. Fries is owned by Kroger. It's one of my favorite stores to find deals. But yeah, the avocados are 78 cents. Um, I remember when they used to be 50 cents and they went up to 58. Why are your avocados so cheap? Even at the 78, I saw the 78 cents and I'm like, buy all of the avocados. No, she said they used to be 50. 50 cents an avocado? Oh my gosh, I need to move to Arizona. I don't see any green bell peppers. Looks like the yellow and the red are gonna be the cheapest. I don't know why the orange ones are that price. Green obviously is your best bet as far as price goes. And the green bell peppers, she's not gonna be able to find them here. She can't find that, find any. I'm wondering if they're in one of those huge bins, you know, that they pile like apples and limes, like you just saw the avocados. My store will frequently do that where all the green ones will be there and they will be half the cost. Also, I do find it more cost effective to buy the three pack instead of just like two of one color quite often. And if you have extra bell peppers, you can chop them up and put them in your potatoes O'Brien for breakfast. So I took a closer look and turns out the orange bell peppers were just in the wrong bin. They were not that expensive. I still ended up just going with a red and a yellow one. Um, and now we're gonna grab our salmon and our chicken and do protein. Salmon in these packages here, it looks like $11.47 a pound. $11.47 a pound for the salmon. Oh, <gasps> okay, but she's looking at this clearance one for $6.95 for what looks like a pound. I would buy that. I would buy that all day long. But also, I don't know the difference between like sockeye versus like, I don't know, skin and skin. I don't know. So I'm gonna take another look. Especially salmon. I try and go for wild caught as opposed to farmed. The different names like sockeye salmon, chinook salmon are just different varieties of salmon, but it doesn't change like which one's better for you or not. But wild caught is better for you than farmed. But I will say salmon is a splurge, a hundred percent a splurge. But if you get it on sale, I have no problem with it. And if you're doing really well in other aspects of your budget, I'm gonna say go ahead, especially with them. I didn't mention this earlier, but they are putting 50% of their take home income onto loans right now, 50%. That's spectacular. So I feel bad like nitpicking a couple dollars here and there, but if you wanna know how to cut your grocery bill, this is how you do it. Today marks the first day you can get your free ticket to the Get Organized HQ online conference. There's over a hundred speakers trying to help you guys save money, get organized, manage your household. Um, and I'm one of the speakers. Oh my gosh, can you believe it? <laughs> but I'll have all of that ticket information down below in the doobly-doo if you want to go check it out. There's a lot of speakers. You are not going to want to miss this. I am currently leaving the aisle that has the rice in it because I was looking at it and the best price per pound or ounce is the great value five pound bag, unless I did the 20 pound bag, but I live in an apartment. I am not bringing a giant 20 pound bag of rice home. Let's talk about the giant bag of rice in an apartment. So first of all, 20 pounds of rice is not that big because rice is very heavy. 20 pounds of oatmeal would take up way more room than 20 pounds of rice. And I understand what she's saying as far as space in the apartment. I saw, I saw the kitchen, it's little. 
she has like one cabinet for bread and oats and rice and, and all these things. So it's very, very tight and I get that. Also, you have to think outside the box as far as storage because you will absolutely get the best price on rice if you buy 20 pounds of it. And she said that they eat rice all the time. It's a staple in their diet, why not? buy a 20 pound bag have we utilized under the bed storage and i don't mean chucking a bag of rice under the bed as is i mean put it in a food storage container and store it under the bed that top shelf of your coat closet or linen closet where you put stuff like that you don't even need or you don't utilize it because you can't reach up there anyway it's a great spot for overflow food i used to do that all the time myself oh hey these are specifically for fajitas and they're seven cents oh yes a great find on the tortillas. I also want to say Dollar Tree has great deals on tortillas. They taste really good. They're really soft. So if you have a Dollar Tree, that's a great place to get tortillas as well. I usually do thighs. This one is three forty-eight a pound, whereas the bigger one is cheaper per pound. And like I said earlier, I will take a bunch of it and freeze it. So that's what we're gonna do. The chicken was three forty-eight a pound, and then the bigger package was two ninety six a pound. I never pay more than $2 a pound, ever. I can frequently get the boneless, skinless chicken thighs that she was looking at right there for about $1.79 a pound. One of my hard fast rules is that I don't buy meat at Walmart. I usually go to my Kroger store and I buy them when they're on sale and I do buy extra like she's saying and saving them for later. I totally do that and she does that as well. Remember how I mentioned we keep mac and cheese around and it's usually a dollar for the great value brand? Well, right now it's 58 cents. So I'm gonna grab a couple boxes just to have on hand at home. 58 cents for the mac and cheese, I thought so. When we're debt free, we're gonna get the good good. But right now, we're getting great value because that's where we're at in life. I'm liking the great value Alfredo, I just don't. But it is cheaper, so be proud of me, Christine. I gave up the good Alfredo. Here's the thing on the pasta sauce. <laughs> I will say, if you're gonna go to Walmart, the Hunts in the can is right at a dollar, so it's a hair cheaper. It's actually pretty good. But I get really nice brands from a Kroger store on sale. So they'll usually be maybe a dollar 48 a jar for the Classico, which is a better brand than the one you're buying right now. It tastes better, but it's the same price as the one you're buying right now. Just go with me for a minute. I think jarred Alfredo is disgusting. <laughs> and homemade Alfredo is really easy and will blow your mind at how good it is. So you saute some garlic, I like to use butter, and then you pour your chicken broth on top, let it like together, a splash of the heavy cream, you put your Parmesan shaky cheese, you get the cheap crap, shaky cheese on top, mix it with your pasta, taste for salt, a little bit of fresh, like a little bit of pepper. You brown up that chicken with just some salt and pepper. I'm telling you, you will never ever go back to that jarred stuff. It's not as easy, of course. It's not as easy as opening a jar. Very, very true. But if your husband doesn't like Alfredo, maybe he's like me and he's like, that jar stuff is gross, <laughs> which is how I always felt about it. Okay, so with milk, I kind of struggled because there's only two of us. I know I can get a gallon for cheaper, but I never am able to use it in time. So I kind of end up just getting a half gallon and I try to find a later expiration date. I used to get lactose free milk because it actually would take forever to expire. And so that was fine. So you're buying half gallons right now keep the containers, buy your whole gallon and then pour half of it into the half gallon one and freeze it. It keeps just fine. And then you can only use your half gallon and then pull out the other one. So you can get the slightly cheaper price and then not have to worry about it going bad. I also find that buying organic milk has an extremely long shelf life. It is more expensive. So for really pushing, like saving money on this one, I would I would cut it in half and freeze half. So remember that part where I was giving my husband crap about being a snacker all the time? Well, something I didn't mention is that I grew up in an ice cream house. Did you guys grow up in an ice cream house? <laughs> I know exactly what she's talking about because my husband grew up in an ice cream house. They had the big tubs, the huge, huge tubs of vanilla, like all the time. And I did not grow up in an ice cream house. And I would not say that I'm a snob. It's just not my dessert of choice. And I, wa I also want to tell you the word the word choice I'm using of dessert because Kaylin's using the word as snack and ice cream is not a snack. Let's just be clear. 
Ice cream is a dessert. It's a treat, it's a dessert, it is not a snack. You want a snack, like something to tide you over until dinner time, it's gonna be like a string cheese with an apple or a Greek yogurt or uh, something like that. Let's just switch your like, I need to snack all the time to I need to eat dessert. <laughs> So let's see what brand she ends up picking. I I'm also in the camp that if you're gonna buy ice cream, it can't be the cheap one. It's just not good. Like, it's not tempting for me, it's, it's disappointing. So when my husband goes out to get me ice cream, he doesn't pay attention to the price though. He'll get me like the Tillamook and I'm like, bro. Stop. No. Kaylin, you do not get the Bluebell. You are wasting your time. This is not about a budget. This is about what's right. This is pretty ironic, but I have reached the pretzel area. I've skimmed this, maybe you can see it, but I can't, I cannot find the dots. So, and I saw that Great Value actually has some pretzels up there that maybe are comparable, but I would need to talk to my husband and ask him if he wants to try them. So I think today we're just gonna go home and be like, sorry, babe, there were no dots there. Okay, so I usually get a dozen because that's what I can use before it goes bad. Kaylin, what do you mean you can only use 12 eggs before they go bad? Did you know that eggs can last like five weeks past the date stamped? Like that's the USDA, five weeks past the date stamped. And you just told me you like to eat like two eggs with your potatoes O'Brien in the breakfast. You'd go through 12 eggs in a week, easily. But I will tell you, Walmart's not the cheapest place to get eggs right now. She said she has an Aldi. Aldi is gonna be the cheapest right now. And now we're here to get the Palmers and the- What the heck is an Arnold Palmer? Is it a tea? What is it? I don't know what it is. Um, they don't have it right now, but sometimes they have it where it comes in the big jug and it's cheaper that way but my husband insists that it is better from the can so you guys should weigh in if you think that's true is it better from the can we are at receipt time she spent 78 dollars on this haul total however there were quite a few personal care items so let's remove that to see what her food cost was fifty seven dollars on food this is very very low but i know they're trying to pay off the loans very aggressively. At this point, every penny matters. So let's go over what I can see on here and what I would do differently. I would have not bought the tea and I would have not bought the coffee because I don't drink tea or coffee, but you can make the coffee at home for significantly less. The flour tortillas were $1.98 for the container. You can get tortillas at Dollar Tree for $1.25, slightly cheaper, <laughs> by the way. Caitlin, really, really impressed by what you've done here. The boneless, skinless chicken thighs, I am horrified that they were $3 a pound. We're paying $9 a pound for salmon. I am telling you, you can get that for six to $7 a pound on sale at any other store, or we can pick a dinner with a much cheaper protein. Like even the chicken is half the price. You can get ground beef for cheaper than that. You can get pork chops for cheaper than that, sausage for cheap, basically anything, <laughs> any protein at all cheaper than that. Even the marinara was $2.22. The Hunts is $1.18, so you could have cut that price in half with the Hunts. I know not everybody likes that one, but I actually think it tastes pretty good. And the eggs were $1.88, which I don't think is horrible, but I still think Aldi's a better deal. Kaylin, you did freaking amazing, like really, really well, because you bought some expensive products and some convenience items and ice cream and some treats and you still came in at like $57. She did ask, like, how do you know what the prices of things are? And do you memorize them? Do you write them down? I just tend over time, you just learn what things cost. You learn what sale prices are. Caitlin also says that she loves Walmart pickup. It's what she normally uses to avoid impulse purchases, which I adore. I love Walmart pickup. It's brilliant. I think it's a great use of time uh, to prevent you from buying those impulse purchases and wandering around trying to find things that you can't find. Caitlin also says that she's not great at shopping at more than one store, but wants to try it. So just for fun, I went onto the Google and I searched for grocery stores in the Tempe, Arizona area. And this is what I found. There is a Sprouts. Sprouts used to be one of my favorite places to get produce deals. So I pulled up the ad and the only produce deal I found that I was happy with was the grapes. The grapes were $1.48 a pound. That was pretty good. It was something, it's not the best, but it's good enough that I would buy it for my kids to have as a snack. They also have an Aldi that's pretty new for them. That's a great place to shop. And I noticed that there's a fries which I said earlier in this video, it's owned by Kroger. I decided to pull it up 
and look at the ad for this week and see what I would recommend. So I'm seeing they have a three pound bag of mandarin oranges for $2.77. I would buy that. I don't see a ton of protein, so I'm gonna skip that. Cereal, no. But I am seeing an amazing coupon. Save $10 when you spend $75. I would totally load that coupon and try and hit right at $75 and save 10. Like, that's amazing. And here at the fries, the green grapes are 99 cents a pound. That beats the price at Sprouts. And check this out. The boneless New York strip steak is cheaper than the salmon we got at Walmart. I see a really large package of blueberries for $2.88 a pound. I love that. The fries milk is 99 cents for a half gallon. And check this out. The Kroger cheese, unreal. Did you know that you can freeze cheese? You can get it shredded, freeze most of it. You can get the block, slice some off, freeze the other half. <laughs> Even the Mission brand tortillas are the same price as you bought the great value tortillas. This is what I mean. You go to like a more expensive store and you get amazing prices. Did you know that you can freeze tortillas as well? <laughs> What's great about places like Fry's is the deals every week will change. So this week I didn't see a sale on chicken, at least not one I was excited about, which means there probably is going to be one next week. So huge thanks to Caitlin for submitting her budget and filming and sending it to me. I know it can be very, very uncomfortable. If you're interested in me coming with you, it's gotta be like Idaho or Utah. It's gotta be close enough for me to drive. And being on the channel, let me know down below in the comments if that is something that you are willing to do. I think it could be really, really fun experiment to see if I could actually go with people and just knock cookies out of their hand. <laughs> And if you guys want to go into the comments and give Caitlin a huge round of applause for killing it on their debt payoff, 50% of their income onto loans. This is truly amazing. And already killing it on the grocery budget, like really doing fantastic. So huge props for being so financially responsible. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. And if you wanna get that free ticket to the Get Organized conference, that'll be down in the bloop below. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you next time. Bye.